up because there's a Twitter account out there. I've heard of it. Uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> called, <laughs> called Strombo One. Um, your position is that uh, this may or may not be your account. In fact, you're not prepared to admit that it's yours, and we respect that. But let's just say there is some evidence that reveals a, a great sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. October 20th, uh, when... Um, the Yankees were supposedly trying to trade A-Rod. I hope the A-Rod trade doesn't drag out. That would really be so annoying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, whoever sent that tweet out, Roberto, was poking fun at your situation. I think so, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I always try to keep it light, um, you know, and, and uh, sometimes uh, I see certain things uh, in the news and the media, and uh, I try to relate to maybe uh, something that's uh, that's involved in, in in my situation or, or anything like that. And I just uh, try to make a little joke out of it and make fun of it. And uh, like you mentioned before, I mean, uh, that's the type of guy that I am. I like to joke around and. Um, you know, uh, maybe that's my way of expressing myself. All right, uh, December 3rd, <laughs> this one. Um, wow, they could barely fit JVR, that's James Van Riemsdyk's name, on the back of that jersey, and then the picture revealing a much shorter name <laughs> yeah. on the back of a leaf sweater. <laughs> yeah. What would the person who sent that tweet out have been thinking? Well, it was kind of funny when I saw that, so uh, <laughs> I just uh, try to, uh, you know, obviously, again, make a little joke, but uh, not directly, uh, you know, focus the attention on the uh, number one jersey on the right-hand side there. January 4th, someone tweeted uh, a picture of a tattoo on your right arm, yeah. uh, mimicking New York Jets coach Rex Ryan's tattoo of his wife wearing the Jets quarterback's Mark Sanchez's jersey. Uh, very, very creative on the part of whoever sent this one out, right? Yeah, I mean, well, the Photoshop mm -hmm. is from my buddy, uh, the Stanchion. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And Lotus saw my forearms covered here, so you guys can't see the tattoo. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it was a funny story when I when I saw that in the media, and uh, I couldn't believe that uh, that was true. I don't even know if it's true or not, but uh, I thought I got a little creative there. Was that picture from your passion poker plan, too, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, is that was, what, it was, that, you looked intense exactly, there. Exactly. That was actually an old picture from many years ago <laughs> okay. that, uh, that uh, I found, and uh, it was... It's really the, the most amount of skin that uh, you can see on me. So me to fit a tattoo on there. Uh, last month, you were in Anaheim. Um, a very funny reference to 07 when you were indisposed and couldn't start the overtime yep. period against the Ducks. Uh, it was initially believed to be an equipment malfunction, <laughs> later revealed to be, uh, shall we say, intestinal disobedience. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And so you sent out a very, very clever tweet. Um, this is where the magic happened. And then the picture. And the hashtag here yeah. was squirts. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't <laughs> it? That's, great. that's, that's the thing of beauty right there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of the most bizarre <laughs> moments, though? And you yeah. think, well, what's at stake there? You know what's funny? I mean, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the whole story. Yeah. Okay. Um, I started having stomach problems in the third period, and uh, usually, sometimes it happens during the game, but they just go away, you know. Yeah. And uh, once I got back to the locker room, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I you know I sat down and I was fine, and, and I was just gonna let it pass. But once I stood up to get ready to go on the ice, which was like three minutes before the, the intermission started, I went to the trainer. I was like, I can't, I can't, I got to go. And, and he's like, well, Bill McCrary was the ref, and he's like, yeah, just go, we'll wait for you. So, you know, I'm doing my business, and uh, all of a sudden I hear the play starting, and I'm in the bathroom. So, <laughs> needless to say, I hurried up uh, to get up there. And, you you uh, hurried as here. best you could. Well, exactly. How did Danny I mean, feel about it? He's sitting here uh, in the middle all, of the game. I, going, what just happened? I, know, to I must yeah. have apologized at least a hundred times to him. I felt so bad to put him in a situation like that. But oh, uh, he got buzzed for the first oh, time. Oh, no, I, I was I was on the bench for at least four minutes there, waiting yeah. to get back in the play and. Uh, uh, he made some big saves, so I was really happy that uh, they didn't score because that would have been the worst, uh, you know, for me to, to be part that, of something like that. That's a goaltender's worst nightmare, though. Exactly. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, to be thrown in like that in a situation is is no yours to be standing oh, on my, the bench. Well, <laughs> oh, well, that too. But uh, I felt more, you know, worse for Danny there yeah. to put him in that uh, kind of situation. Uh, last tweet we're going to show uh, from Strombone One, yeah. whoever that is, uh, from the guy. shootout in Los what? Angeles. Yeah. Uh, last week, so Alexander Burroughs with uh, a bizarre 360 oh. spinorama on oh, Jonathan so Quick. So <laughs> <laughs> and it produced this tweet from yeah. Strombone. Uh, Almost had him. Yeah. And, and what a great screen capture. Look at that. <laughs> well, the, the thing that makes me laugh is like he's trying to do such a such a fancy move and uh, Jonathan is just waiting for him there. He's as a, <laughs> didn't bite at all. So uh, uh, it was better to uh, tweet that than what I actually yelled out uh, from the other end of the ice uh, <laughs> when I saw that happen. Okay, your opinion, is that a legal move or illegal move? 
Uh, I thought it was uh, honestly illegal at the time, uh, but then, uh, you know, apparently with the rule book, as long as the puck is moving, I guess it's legal. So, yeah. uh, so in retrospect, he hit the post, which is pretty <laughs> close to, to scoring, you know, if you ask me. Uh, not to beat this Twitter stuff to death, which we probably already have done, but I, I just want to say again that um, this really reveals Strombone 1, whoever that is, yep. to have a wry sense of humor, to be a person who uh, doesn't take himself too seriously, yep. which is a side of Roberto Luongo, and I mentioned this a moment ago, Canuck fans probably haven't until now seen. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, uh, you got to be able to make fun of yourself in life. You know, um, I don't want to take things too seriously. I want to keep them lighthearted. Um, you know, life is very uh, valuable and important, and, you know, there's things that are more important in life than hockey, and uh, sometimes we get caught up in that whole thing, and, and uh, we take it uh, too seriously, and we don't look at the bigger picture. So uh, uh, that, that, that's pretty the main, the main thing about it. I just want to keep it light and, and uh, show people that, uh, you know, what type of person I am, and that's the perfect way for me to do it. Have you ever seen Elaine Vigneault's Magic Queen? No, I've never seen it, but uh, I've heard there's a Twitter account out about it. There is, uh, yeah, AV's coin, I think. Which I'm probably going to have some words for tonight uh, after we get done here. Well, I, did you not already send out a tweet? We haven't got that one, yeah. but I think I saw the other day. Yeah, yesterday. To AV's coin, yeah. do you take bribes? Well, I mean, I just, was just asking a question. I mean, yeah. I... All right. <laughs>